So what we have here is an SMC vacuum ejector. I don't really understand the ejector part, but basically you put air through here and it shoots across a nozzle. There's also a, another opening in the nozzle, as far as I know, and it as it blows the air across there, it pulls in more air through here, or at least tries to, and that creates the vacuum through this way. So here's the supply and here's the vacuum. And this is going to help me create vacuum pods so I can hold parts with these vacuum pods instead of using super glue. At least that's what I'm attempting to do. So here they all are, and I tested out this one right here with just this one and that bigger piece of aluminum, and I was able to wiggle it around a decent amount, but I was thinking if I get some more pods in there with it, then it'll stay a lot better. But really this whole setup was pretty cheap. I got the vacuum valve here for like 30 bucks, I got all these fittings, I think all the f these brass fittings were like 2 bucks, and these push-in fittings, I got a bunch of them for like 10 bucks. This pressure gauge right here, or vacuum gauge, was like, I don't know, five bucks from Amazon maybe. So, and I got this neoprene cord here from McMaster for pretty cheap. I mean, everything was relatively cheap, and these were basically scrap pieces. Not really scrap pieces, but kinda. So I think this is really gonna work out. I don't have anything to test it right now at the moment, but when we do, I will be using these instead of super glue. So these turned out fairly well, and if you guys happen to want one, I'm going to leave the 3D model on my website sometime soon maybe, but I will leave the links to the purchase parts, all these push fittings and everything that I got. I'll leave the links in the video description, so if you want to get all that stuff and make your own, whatever, it's fairly cheap, so I think it, it's going to work out pretty good, like I said. And also, now that I really know and understand how to make these vacuum pods like this, I can probably make my own vacuum fixtures for specific parts if that should ever happen. So it's just kind of a really good thing to know now. So I think that's it for now, so thanks for watching.